What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rick Parma, and this video is going to be about belting. Yay! Everybody loves belting, but nobody knows what the hell it is. And every vocal coach drives me insane because they literally call your belting a register. What is a register? A register... You talking about a cash register? <laughs> you talking about, you know, I have to register online? What does that mean? So somebody will be like, oh, you have your chest register, and then you have your mix register, then your head register, then your belting register. How is uh, this is what I'm talking about? If you've seen my last video, you you know that there's three main gears to the voice: low, one, two, and three. And then there's three styles to the voice: volume. Uh, velocity, and then connected versus airy, okay? Belting is can be done in all three registers. Let me say this again because every other vocal coach out there tells you the completely opposite. Belting can do, be done in all three registers. And I'm going to prove it. Okay, so a lot of people say your belting is your call register, your, your yelling register. They say this. They always say this is your belting register. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Or, hey, hey, hey. I literally just did the same thing in all three gears. Belting is nothing more than volume and velocity in whatever gear you want to do it in. Okay? That's it. Because if Mickey Mouse was going to belt out a note, it would be... Ah! Ah! Right? Mickey Mouse is not all of a sudden going to be like, Hey! That's not Mickey Mouse. So... What I'm saying is the terms that they throw out is are just nonsense. They, they go back hundreds and hundreds and here hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years when you know people were still wiping their ass with leaves or like we had no running water uh, or like you have no electricity yet yet you know seriously we're still talking about the same stuff that they were talking about 500 years ago. It makes no sense. I've already proved that you have three main gears of the voice, your low register notes, <laughs> register, your low gear notes, your second gear notes, your mid gear to high, and then your third gear, which is your mid high to ultra high notes, okay? Belting is nothing more than just giving velocity and volume to a specific note, okay? Now, in the Ken Templin method, which like I said, I did buy, um, I'm not critiquing it. I'm just going to sh show you things that he does. Um, he talks about um, having the breath support, okay? Now, if your your lungs are a, a bag, right? Your lungs are like a bag. They fill up with air. But the bag doesn't fill up by itself. The muscles in your diaphragm pull down on the bag, which causes air to come in from the outside into your chest. So when you go, it's because your, it's, be, um, it's simply because your muscles are pulling on that bag first. So if you go, you're automatically going to pull on your diaphragm muscle. Some people go, because they, they've been taught how to almost breathe wrong. If you just breathe with your stomach, just breathe out and breathe in. Your stomach is going to go up. Let's bring this down. Yes, you're going to see my big stomach. Okay, I don't care. Okay, watch, ready? Here, turn to the side. Okay, that's where your breathing comes from. Um, that's, that's all that he has to really tell you. But he talks about, like, the support. Like, if you're, you know, and he flicks a guitar, bam, this is what it sounds like. Yeah, I understand. Because if your breath, if you don't have any breath in your lungs, if your stomach is in and you're, you haven't taken a breath and you try to yell, hey, 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 that's literally as loud as I can, hey, 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 hey. But if I take that breath and fill it up, 
Hey, 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 hey. See how much stronger, how much power I have in that just by taking the breath? In his thing, he's saying you got to go, hey, hey, and like pull the stomach in and almost like shoot the air out. You don't have to do that. I so the one thing when I see that, I'm like, you're, it's an extra step. That's confusing. That makes people think that the whole time they're singing, like if they want to sing a high note, they got to go, hey, and like pull their stomach in at the same time as they sing it. It's not true. You just take the breath. Hey, it, this, this, your body does it for you. Okay. Now this, remember what I said when you're, you want to switch gears and your, your larynx goes from your low gear or your low part in your low gear, and then it goes up a little higher for your, your second gear, and then when you're singing your really high stuff, it's always up in your third gear. It's natural. When I go, ha, ah, it naturally rises to sing that, okay? But it doesn't do that automatically for somebody who's never done it. You have to kind of, you have to create that muscle memory. You have to talk like this for a little while and get comfortable with talking like this before you can talk like that immediately the first time, especially if you're a guy. Most guys don't talk like this, okay? So trying to do that is going to be difficult. An easy way to kind of find it um, is trying to talk like Mickey Mouse and first letting let it, make sure it's not coming from down here. Uh, you know, not like Mickey Mouse like this. <laughs> Even though I tried to pull it all the way down. Um, you, you want it to be all like really light. Okay. That's how you talk for, that's how you get in your falsetto range. So before you start singing the falsetto range, just learn how to talk in falsetto range. Okay. This is what I needed to do. I, I couldn't understand this because I was able to sing extremely high <laughs> because I always liked hearing high notes, but I never knew what the hell that was. Was it falsetto? Was it reinforced falsetto? Was it my head voice? Was it, it drove me freaking up the wall until I realized I only have three major sections of my voice, three gears. One, two, three, okay? Um, the muscle memory, if you don't know what muscle memory is, because um, there's if you're young, you may have never heard this term. Uh, muscle memory is, like I talked about just a second ago, your muscles in your diaphragm pull down your lungs. That's a natural gift. That's a natural uh, God-given born with muscle memory that we're born with the first time we take a breath when we come out, when we go, it's because our stomach is doing that. Your, your lungs don't do that. Your throat doesn't do that. Your stomach is actually doing that. But it's, it's, it's built into your, into your brain, okay? Um, when you're playing an instrument, to be able to hit that note, your muscles are pulling your fingers down to hit those notes. Your muscles are taking, are lifting your finger off the key to make the other notes, okay? It's, that's what they call muscle memory. Your muscles and your, talk to your brain and those are the ones that send the signals of what to do, okay? So you need to learn your muscle memory in your low notes, your mid notes, and your high notes. Your gear one, your gear your two, and your gear three. My next video, I'm going to talk about how to start to strengthen each gear, okay? But uh, thank you, guys. I'll be right back in a little bit. We're going to do the next one. Uh, peace. Don't forget, if you want to get a free song, text the word jazz to the number on the screen. If you want to get all of my music, uh, go to my rickparma.com. You can get my USB card. And if you just want to show some love, you can always do the Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. You've seen them in the bottom of the screen. Peace, everybody.